pinky. <laughs> After all, this call is costing me three bucks a minute. Whatever you want, baby. Ooh, you're making me so hot. I just can't stop. Oh, yeah. I like it like that, you big, strong hunk of man. Damn! Okay, that was two large pepperonis and one in the virtual designer theater tonight. We are proud to present for anything. Thirty thousand. Thirty thousand dollars? Just to commit one murder? That's my price. If you can't afford it, then there's nothing left to discuss. I can afford it. Good. Who's the target? My, um, sister. Do you want the address? Go ahead. 4106 Silver Ridge Avenue. Look, when are you going to do it? In a week's time. You don't need to know. Well, how do I get a hold of you if something goes wrong? You won't hear from me again until after it's done. Don't worry. Nothing will go wrong. Nine one one emergency. May I help you? Yeah, I'd like to report a murder. May I have your current location, sir? Well, ac actually, no. Uh, the murder hasn't even taken place yet. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't understand. Did you say the murder hasn't happened yet? Look, lady, I work for the phone company. I just overheard a conversation between a woman and a man, and the woman asked this guy to kill her sister for her. Is that all, sir? What do you mean, is that all? Sorry, but there's really nothing we can do. It was probably a prank of some sort. I wouldn't worry about it. Have a nice day. Have a nice day? Then you'll have to call me. Well, then I'll do it when I get home. All right. Honey, guess you just walked in here. Bruce. Well, I don't know, but as soon as I get off the phone, I'll find out. Yeah, okay, I'll tell you. Yeah, I love you too. Hey, Bruce, how's it going? Not so, uh, not so good. Aren't you still supposed to be at work? Yeah. I left a little early. Heard something over the wire that, uh, was kind of strange and spooked me. Well, what'd you hear? Well, this lady hired this guy over the phone to kill somebody. You know, like you and I were ordering a pizza. Well, that doesn't surprise me. We hear that kind of stuff all the time. Roy, you don't even know the half of it. She told this guy that the person she wanted killed was her sister. Are you serious? What should I do? What do you mean, what should you do? Nothing. I just can't do nothing. Someone's gonna die unless I do something. Don't kid yourself, Bruce. You're not a cop anymore. There's nothing you can do. Just forget about it. It's probably just a joke anyway. I don't think so. Yeah, do you uh, live here? Uh, yeah. I'm sorry to bother you. It's just that, well, I... Uh... Well, what? Can I come in for a second? Look, if you're trying to get me to switch to long-distance phone companies or something, I'm really not interested. There's something you need to know. It's about uh, your sister. Okay. Thanks. So what's this about Susan? Well, I don't know how to say this. Say what? Do we forget to pay our phone bill or something? No, it's not that exactly. Well, what is it? I believe she's trying to... Rachel, who's here? It's the telephone guy. The telephone guy? Oh, what's he doing here? I don't know. I think he was about to tell me. Is there 
something I can help you with, sir? Two of you sisters? Yeah. <sighs> Excuse me, but is there something we can do for you? <sighs> okay, here it is. Today, when I was working on one of the wires, I accidentally patched into one of your conversations. Now, I can't tell from your voices which one it was, but whichever one it was, hired an assassin to kill the other. <laughs> Are you saying that me or my sister hired someone to kill the other one? <laughs> Look, this, this is ridiculous. Look, I don't know what would motivate you to concoct such a story, Mr. Bruce, but I think I've heard quite enough. Please, you must believe me. The only thing I must do is ask you to leave. Look, I know I must look stupid and sound really crazy, but I used to be a cop, and I know what I heard. This is my phone number, and hopefully, one of you will discover the truth before it's too late. I'm sorry if I, if I bothered you. I cannot believe you, Rachel. Letting a complete stranger into the house like this? What has gotten into you? I thought he was cute. So, did you really hire someone to kill me? Look, keep opening the door like that to strangers and maybe I will. Slow down, buddy. Hey. Fuck off, buddy. Hey, Mark. Well, hello there, cutie pie. How are you? Where's your big sister? She's in her bedroom. Thanks. Oh, that guy who just left? Was he here to see you? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. Thanks. Don't mention it. How are you doing, honey? Hey. Uh, who's the guy that just left? What guy? Oh, come on. Don't play dumb, Susan. I mean, I almost ran the bastard over in the driveway. Who's this guy? The phone guy? Uh, look, he, he's just some lunatic that Rachel thinks trying to kill me. Why don't you sleep with him? Do I look like I just had sex, Mark? No, but you will. Stop! I'm not in the mood! I'll get you in the mood. I'm going to do everything you like, okay? You're doing it with the bastard stuff. I was right, wasn't I? You went over there and they didn't want to hear it. <sighs> I felt so stupid. Okay, let's say it was real. And that one of these sisters, what are their names again? Susan, Rachel. Okay, let's just say Susan or Rachel hired an assassin to kill the other one. Well, now that you've gone over there and tipped them off, don't you think whoever did it would call it quits? Yeah, I would hope so. Can I get either of you guys anything else? I'm good, Jenny. That's your opinion. <laughs> I'll take another one and get him one, too. It's on me. Thanks. Look, you thought you were doing the right thing. My best advice, just let it go. Yeah. Maybe.
Rachel, Rachel Sternum. Listen, I hate saying this, but I think you might be right about my sister. I have my own line. Call me, 555-9827. Mr. Johnson, this is uh, Susan Sternum. I'm afraid there might be some truth to what you said about my sister. Please call me back at 555-3675. Thanks. Man, this is not going to be easy. Yeah, I know I come here all the time. Oh, I love Italian food. I hope you can uh, recommend something that's great. Oh, I can. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming, Bruce. Oh, it's no problem. I was so scared I couldn't even sleep last night. Yeah, I can understand that. I mean, just the thought that my sister would want to have me killed. It's so hard to believe. That's what the cops said. You went to the cops? I called them as soon as I heard the phone call. And what'd they say? Well, they didn't believe me. They thought I heard some kind of prank and, uh, forget all about it. But you didn't. You knew it was real. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Are you ready to order? Be my guest. We'll have two linguine with clams, please, and a white sauce. Very good. Thank you. You know, Rachel, this, um, this really isn't my type of place. Me neither. I'm the type that likes onion rings and hot dogs. Oh, yeah? Mustard, relish, onions? Yeah, those are the best. <laughs> hey, I know this great park down in Studio City best hot dog vendor in this town. What's wrong? Susan and I used to always go to the park when we were kids. How could she do this? I mean, what have I done to her? So what do you think I should do now? Honestly? Well, I think you should go to the police and demand they protect you. I can't do that. I only have your word that you heard it. And you said they didn't even believe you. Well, then your only other option is to leave town. Actually, that's not even an option. Rachel, I don't think you understand what we're talking about. We are talking about your life here. Look, if I leave, she'll think I believe you. Do you? I don't want to, but I do. Hey, Mark. Hey, Rachel. Hey, is your sister home? She's out. Ah, oh, that's too bad. Doesn't have to be. Thing I need is your sister to find out about us, okay? Yeah, but she said she wouldn't be back all night. Uh, uh, uh. You are a very naughty girl. Yeah, but I sure am good at it. Oh.
Give me all your money. Ooh, Elliot Ness, chill out. <laughs> Don't ever do that again. I'm sorry, man. How the hell did you know I was here? Well, I still have a few friends down at the station. Yeah, you got me doing this no-brainer stakeout. So you came to me for advice. <laughs> what should I look for? You know, inconsistencies like, well, in this case, if there's no evidence, you're going to have to rely on your instincts. Instincts? Yeah, well, like what instincts? If I had any of those, I wouldn't have gotten myself kicked off the force in the first place. Look, it wasn't your lack of instincts that got you kicked out and you know it. All right. Can I get you something to drink? Beer will be fine. All right. One beer coming up. Here's your beer. Thanks. Ah, you seem a little edgy. No, not really. But I thought you wanted to talk. It's not so much I needed to talk. It's... Just, I can't be alone right now. Well, where's your boyfriend? He's busy. Besides, he's a jerk anyway. Well, if he's a jerk, then why are you with him? Sometimes you just get stuck. You know what I mean? Yeah. I know what you mean. So, um, do you have a girlfriend? No. Well, I was married once, but... But what? But, uh, we got stuck. Why are you staring at me? You seem a little uptight. It's been a long day and I'm tired. Oh, yeah? <laughs> tired of what? Tired of everything. Tired of having to be so strong all the time. Tired of having to make everything all right. And I'm tired of forgiving them. Who's them? Everyone. Everyone I've ever known has hurt me. Susan, why did you really come over here? What do you mean? I mean, you're not acting like the person I first met. The Susan I first met? Very cold, very hard. Now you're uh, emotional and sensitive. What are you trying to prove? I'm not trying to prove anything. You didn't come over here for a beer, Susan. Do you want to know the truth? Yeah. The truth is I, I was feeling lost, and, and for one brief moment, I thought maybe you were what I was trying to find. Now I can see I was wrong. Wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm sorry I was so hard on you. It's just that I cannot afford to get involved right now. I still don't know who to trust. I didn't come here for you to trust me. Or so we could get involved. I just wanted to disappear for a while. I could do that with you. This isn't right. It doesn't have to be right. It just has to be.
Hang on. Morning, Sherlock. What time is it? Seven. Aren't you going to work today? No. Took the week off. What are you doing here? Eh, it's fake out. I was on internet to be a bust. So I thought I'd come over here and see what's going on with your investigation. I know who did it. You do? Mm-hmm. Susan. How do you know that? Well, yesterday, you told me to go on my instincts, and my instincts are telling me it is Susan. Well, it's not that I don't believe you. But I think you might be drawing conclusions just a little too fast. Well, maybe you're right. But if you don't believe me, then you go down there and interview her yourself. Fine. I'll do it. Good. <sighs> so who was over here last night? <laughs> Makes you think uh, anyone was over here. Come on, Bruce. I've never known you to drink only half a beer. Much less two of them. Uh, let's just say I was doing my homework. Okay, have it your way. Just promise me one thing. You're being careful. Yes, Dad. Well, you let me know what she has to say, okay? All right, here we go. Are you all right? Yeah. At least now I know he's a bad shot. I don't think that was meant to be a hit. I think somebody wants you to go back to working for the phone company in a real bad way. Well, he's going to have to try a hell of a lot harder. Look, why don't you get out of this while you can? Hey, don't worry about me. All right? I know what I'm doing. Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> that's OK. I do that all the time. I guess that's the price you pay for adding all those fixings. That sounds like something Susan would say. You really don't like your sister, do you? Are you kidding? I love her to death. She's the one who hates me. She always resented having to take care of me when we were little. And once we got older, she hated that I wanted to be my own person. She always tried so hard to make me just like her, to do everything just like her. She always used to make me eat mine just like she ate hers in a ladylike sort of fashion. I thought your sister didn't like hot dogs. Are you kidding? She loves them. Why do you two girls even live together? We have to live together. Why is that? I don't want to talk about my sister anymore. Rachel, there is no us. There could be, though. Look, my only concern is making sure you stay alive. If you want to be able to prove that your sister hired that killer, you got to help me on this. You got it? Listen, there's a lot you don't know about me, Bruce. Then tell me. I haven't exactly had a normal life. You and, uh million other people yeah but see ever since our parents died my sisters had to be the responsible one and well i wasn't so what are you saying rachel i've done a lot of things in my life that i regret bad things that are the people that were closest to me especially susan look i don't care what you did to your sister before Nothing you could have done warrants what she's trying to do to you right now. Maybe life doesn't mean anything to me. I mean, what do I really have to live for anyway? Well, I want you to live. Who knows? When this is all over, maybe we can sit down and talk about us. Okay? Sure. Hi. 
Can I help you? You must be Susan. And you are? My name's Detective Walker. I'm a friend of Bruce's. How do I know that? Nice place. Thanks, we like it. Susan, I'm not here officially. This is just a favor for Bruce, all right? I see. But, um, if you discover anything, you'll report it to your department, right? Of course. Look, I, I'm sorry if I seemed surprised when, um, you first came up, but Bruce didn't tell me you were coming. I know, it's better that way for authenticity. You understand. What, are you insinuating I have some reason to lie? Look, I'm sorry if I come off a little abrasive. It kind of goes with the territory. It's okay. I understand. Tell me, why would Rachel want to kill you? Look, I've been through this with Bruce. I, how am I supposed to know? I'm just searching for a motive, Susan. I'm looking for something that you might have that your sister wants bad enough to kill you for it. I don't know. I, I can't think of anything. What did you say you did for a living? I didn't. Will you? I'm in real estate. You're a broker? Yes. Do you make a lot of money? I do all right. If you died, who'd get your money? My, uh, sister. Well, what does your sister do for a living? <laughs> She's a dancer. Really? Where? Um, Jim's Tavern. It's a strip club. <laughs> does that bother you? Of course it does. Look, I, I did whatever I could so she could be whatever she wanted to. Whatever she wanted or whatever you wanted? Look, I've lived most of my life for her, and, and all she's done is hurt me. And now with this murder bullshit, God only knows what she's going to think of next. You know, there's something you're not telling me. Look, if there's something I'm not telling you, it's because you're not asking the right questions. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, detective, I'll show you to the door. I'll tell you what, why don't you give me a call when you care to tell me what's really going on? Look, detective, it's late and I really have to go home. Okay, I've heard just about enough of this. I'm sorry, I, I don't mean to be rude, but I just... Nice gun. I'm sorry, I thought she might be someone else. No sweat. Hi, I'm Rachel. I'm Detective Walker. I'm Bruce's friend. Oh, yeah, sure. So what can we do for you, Detective? Well, actually, I was just finishing up with your sister. Maybe I can ask you some questions. Sure, but you'll have to do it while I'm at work. You call that work. You'll have to excuse my sister. She doesn't exactly approve. Rachel, look, you don't need to sugarcoat it. I've told the detective exactly what I think of you. Now, if you'll excuse me, detective, I've got to go to my real job. Well, I'll be in touch. I'm sure you will. I'm really sorry about that. Sometimes we act really normal. Sometimes we act like that. Well, that's some act. Yeah, I guess you're right. I just wish things could be different. Well, if Bruce and I don't get to the bottom of this real soon, they just might be. I love it when you cops talk like that. It's so... Jimmy Cagney. Well, look, I don't want you to be late for work. If you like, you can follow me over and interview me there. That sounds good. Okay, let me change real fast, and then we can go.
freeze. Mark, Susan's boyfriend. Mark, this is Roy. He's a detective. I'm sorry, mister. I thought you were someone else. Hey, look, Nick, you're sorry, okay? Just get away from me, all right, cop? You're gonna lose your badge for this. Yeah, I said I was sorry. Yeah. Stay away from me, all right? Don't worry about it, Roy. Mark's all steam. He'll cool down in a couple minutes and forget about the whole thing. Yeah, I'm sure he will. I had to go with Bruce last night. Last night? I didn't see him last night. I saw him this morning. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. So you're a dancer, huh? Pays the bills. Do you have a lot of bills? <sighs> the usual ones. Car, insurance, credit cards. What about your sister? Does she have a lot of bills? I'm not sure. We don't really talk about money that often. So how do you know Bruce? No, he was married to my wife's sister. You're married? Yeah. What? Marriage? Yeah. Did you ever cheat on your wife? Only at cards. I thought I was supposed to be asking the questions here. You are. Are you trying to seduce me? No. I'm just trying to turn you on. If I were trying to seduce you, you wouldn't know it. <clears throat> well, I should probably be going now. I still have a lot of work to do. Thanks again, Roy. Don't mention it. You just watch your back, okay? Detective Walker? Go ahead, Detective. Yeah, I need a background check run on a Susan Sternum. ASAP. You got it. Better go ahead and run one on a Rachel Sternum, too. Thanks. Working a little late, aren't we? Hi, honey. Hi. I'm sorry, did you miss me? Well only been a couple of hours. Well, a couple of hours isn't enough time to miss me. Okay, fine. I missed you. You seem like you're in a bit of a mood tonight. What were you up to this afternoon? Well, I went to interview those two sisters Bruce is talking about. Oh, really? And how did that go? I don't know. There's something about the younger sister. She's just so calm and carefree. You know, she's just not scared of Certainly trust your instincts over Bruce's. God knows he's never been able to pick the right women. <laughs> Are you forgetting he was married to your sister? No, I'm not. I mean, you know how I feel about my sister. She's crazy. Granted, she's not as crazy as these two women Bruce is dealing with now, but she's still crazy. In fact, I think that's what he likes. That's what turns him on. So based on what I've told you about the case, what do you think's going on? Well, let's see. You've got these two sisters who obviously already hate each other, but for some reason they've stuck it out with each other all these years. My guess is it can only be one of two things, jealousy or money. Yeah, I thought about both of those. Susan's got a boyfriend. <laughs> He's a real piece of work. 
I can't imagine either of them wanting to be jealous enough to kill over him. Well, what about money? I'm still looking into that. I got the guys around here running background checks on both of them. Well, it sounds like an awful lot of work for someone who isn't really even on the case. Yeah, but it's too late to drop out now. I think Bruce is right. I think there is something going on over there. Well, I hope Bruce doesn't get hurt from this. What's all this sudden concern for Bruce? Since when did you start caring about his feelings? And more importantly, how do you know what turns him on? Are you forgetting that he was married to my sister? I know everything about that guy. I don't think I like you knowing what turns my friends on. Why? My sister knows what turns you on. Oh, yeah? How would she know that if you don't even know? Oh, I don't, do I? <laughs> Do I look turned on to you? Not yet, but you will. the usual. Make it a double. Your usual is a double. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. I had something come up at the office. Yeah, I bet. Don't sweat it. So have you got anything new? No. Met with Rachel. She seems a little, uh, tweaked. I know. I was still with Susan when she got back. It's like fire and ice. But am I right? Is it Susan? It's tough to say. But I ran background checks on both of them. Well, come on, what do you got? First off, they're both broke. And one of them has a penny to their name. You gotta be kidding me. No, no. Apparently Susan was doing real well making a lot of money in the real estate market. But now she's barely able to make her car payments. Yeah, but now how about Rachel? Come on, she's a dancer. She's gotta be making good money. Yeah, and she does. At least according to the people she works with. You know, Rachel's not this sweet little innocent thing you think she is. She's got a long rap sheet. She's always been associated with bad people. My guess is she's blowing her money on drugs. Come on, man. Drugs? She's the type. I still say it's Susan. And it may very well be, but you can't discount the fact that Rachel's a tough little lady. I know. She told me about her past. But that doesn't mean we accuse Rachel plotting a murder just because of what she did when she was growing up. Well, just like you can't accuse Susan just because she's a bitch. Man, this is gonna be difficult.
Bruce. Hey. What are you doing here? I stopped by to see you. Uh, I checked around the pool. You weren't there. Well, do you want to come in? Yeah, sure. Thanks. So I met your friend Roy yesterday. He's really nice. Yeah, he said he liked you too. So have you found anything out about my sister? No, not really, but we're getting closer. That's good. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, shoot. Why haven't you tried to sleep with me? <coughs> Excuse me? Well, I mean, most guys try to sleep with me as soon as they meet me. But you, you're different. How come? I just, um... Did you sleep with my sister? Your sister and I have about as much in common as a cat and a dog. I like that. I wanted to give you a reason to like me first before I did anything. Give me a reason? Yeah, you know, uh, solve this whole thing for you. Come in like Prince Charming or something. And that way you'd fall in love with me. What if I already was in love with you? I'd say I wouldn't believe you. Believe it. Very, very special. Oh. Connie's in. You bet. Who are you, another cop? Oh, I know, you're the chief of repairman, right? Hey, chief, Mr. Flattop, I'm talking to you. Who are you? I'm your last memory.
You had a big mouth, kid. What's happened? What is this? It's the aunt's last will and testament. I found it in the house. We have her motive, Roy. We got her motive. I don't get it. How? Well, it's one of those uh, uh, conditional type wills. You know, where the benefactors have to do certain things before they can collect all the dough. Okay. Well, the house the sisters live in, they don't own it. It's the aunt's. She left it to them with a large sum of money. The sisters have to do either of two things. Live in that house together for five more years, or one of them has to die. How much money are we talking about? Over three million dollars. Sounds like a motive to me. I'll get right on it. Thanks a lot, Roy. Yeah, Charlie, get me uh, Susan Sternum in Encino. Thanks. Who is this? Detective Jackson. Who's this? Jackson, what are you doing here? This is Roy. There's been a murder. Damn. Which one was it? I don't know. He doesn't have any ID on him. He? He is in him. Is in the guy who got killed? The victim's a guy? Well, from my angle, it looks like a guy. But if you don't believe me, then why don't you drop in, pull down his pants, take a good hard look, and tell me what you think. Along the way. I want one right across here. Hey, Warren. Jackson's inside. They're going to bring the body back real soon. So uh, I'm going to have to move that vehicle. Right. Call the station. Let them know what's going on. Okay. Roy, I'm glad you're here. We found out the victim's name. It was uh, Mark Willis. Susan Sternum's boyfriend. How did you know? It's a long story right now. It's not worth telling. How are the women holding up? Crazy. They've been fighting ever since they got here. Right, let's go outside and talk. I hope you're happy. Don't try and blame me for this, Susan. This is your fault and you know it. What did I ever do to deserve this? Was I that bad a sister? That's just it, Susan. You were never bad. You never made mistakes. I could never be as good as you. Nobody ever loved me the way they loved you. You're crazy. You're never going to get away with this. I already have. That's the way they've been the whole time. Can you give me a minute with him? All right, ladies, I'm only going to ask once. I want to know who did this. And I want to know where I can find him right now. Tell him, Rachel. Tell him what, Susan? You're the one. Why don't you just confess? You little bitch, I'm going to kill you! It's enough. Jackson, I'm going to take Susan to the library for questioning. Keep an eye on this one for me. Okay. <sighs> I just can't believe this is happening. It's not how you planned it, is it? How can you be so blind? When are you going to realize I had nothing to do with this? Susan, I know all about the will. Is that what you think this is all about? The money in the will? Roy, she got away. I was filling out the coroner's report and I turned around and she was gone. Great, Jackson. Nice move. Rachel! Rachel, wait! I'm going to Bruce's. I don't feel safe here anymore. Damn it. Hi, 
I've been going about this all wrong, haven't I? Well, if I were you, the first question I would ask is, uh, why would I do it? No, I don't like that question. I already know why you would do it. I want to know why you think Rachel did it. Look, do you remember the first time we met? Hmm? Yeah. Do you remember how hesitant I was to let you in at first? Yeah. That was because I didn't know if you were the killer. So what's your point? Do you remember when I, I was showing you out and Rachel came up? Right. Look, you had a gun pointed on her. I mean, she, she wasn't even scared. Not for a second. I mean, don't you think that was odd? I mean, you have a gun right in her face and she doesn't even flinch. I don't get it. Why should she be afraid of a cop? No, she didn't know I was a cop. For all she knew, I could have been the killer. Unless she already knew who the killer was. Oh, God, Bruce. I gotta go. Where? My buddy's in trouble. Stay with her. Susan, I'm really sorry. You got a friend in trouble. What's wrong? Mark's dead. Mark? Susan's boyfriend. He's dead. Someone killed him in our house. Oh my God. Come on in. I'm so scared, Bruce. Maybe I should call Roy. No, he already knows. He was questioning Susan when I left. I knew it was her. Please, Bruce, come and hold me. Come on, let's sit down. How could she do it? How could she hire someone for $30,000 to have me killed? How much did you say it cost? How do you know that? I don't know. I think that's what you told me you heard on the phone, didn't you? No. No, I didn't. I never mentioned the price to anyone. The only ones who knew? Me, the killer, and the person who hired him. Don't be silly, Bruce. You must have told me and you just don't remember. How else would I know? Came here to kill me, didn't you, Rachel? Sorry, Bruce. I really am. But I can't have anyone knowing what I did. You understand, don't you? Yeah. When am I going to learn? What do you mean? I always fall for the crazies. I'm not crazy! Oh, you're not? You just hired someone to kill your sister, and now you're about to kill the only man who's ever believed in you. You don't understand. All those years of being second best, all those years of living in her shadow. Rachel, please, trust me. You need some help. And I can give you that help. This is no solution to the problem. I have to. It's too late for anything else. 
by Bruce. Sorry it had to be you. Got a gun, Roy. Where is she? That's my damn way. Roy? Uh, Roy? Roy? Yeah. You okay? I'm okay. Let's go get her. Okay? Yeah, I will be. Are you okay? Yeah, but I feel like the world's biggest idiot. <laughs> I'll suck at that. Where's uh, Susie? She's fine. I got a detective watching her at the house. Uh, I'm gonna call over there, make sure she's okay. That's a good idea. Why are you at it? Why don't you call me an ambulance? I don't think I'm gonna heal this up on my own. Just called there. Her line is busy. Something ain't right. Look, 911 comes on the line. You tell them where you are. Are you are you kidding me? I'm out of here. Oh, go ahead. I'll be fine. Yeah, I got an officer down. Detective Roy Walker. No, I'm Detective Roy Walker. Do it, partner. You are not getting paid enough to die. Are you the telephone man I've heard so much about? My, my, you've been very busy. Rachel's dead. It's over. So let the lady go. I can't do that, Mr. Telephone Man. See, in my profession, once I start a job, I see it through. I am telling you, man, there is no way out of here for you. Why don't you be a good little boy, huh? Drop the gun. Why don't you drop dead?
bang. You're dead, kid. Something real kinky. <laughs> After all, this collie is costing me three bucks a minute. Whatever you want, baby. Ooh, you're making me so hot. I just can't stop. Oh, yeah. I like. 
like it like that. You big, strong hunk of man. Ooh. Damn! Okay, that was two large pepperonis and one. In the virtual desire theater tonight, we are proud to present the verdict from them. Thirty thousand. Thirty thousand dollars? Just to commit one murder? That's my price. If you can't afford it, then there's nothing left to discuss. I can afford it. Good. Who's the target? My, um, sister. Do you want the address? Go ahead. 4106 Silver Ridge Avenue. Look, when are you gonna do it? In a week's time. You don't need to know. Well, how do I get a hold of you if something goes wrong? You won't hear from me again until after it's done. Don't worry. Nothing will go wrong. Nine one one emergency. May I help you? Yeah, I'd like to report a murder. May I have your current location, sir? Well, ac actually, no. Uh, the murder hasn't even taken place yet. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't understand. Did you say the murder hasn't happened yet? Look, lady, I work for the phone company. I just overheard a conversation between. Yeah, do you uh, live here? Uh, yeah. I'm sorry to bother you. It's just that, well, I... Uh... Well, what? Can I come in for a second? Look, if you're trying to get me to switch to long-distance phone companies or something, I'm really not interested. There's something you need to know. It's about uh, your sister. Okay. Thanks. So what's this about Susan? Well, I don't know how to say this. Say what? Do we forget to pay our phone bill or something? No, it's not that exactly. Well, what is it? I believe she's trying to... Rachel, who's here? It's the telephone guy. The telephone guy? Oh, what's he doing here? I don't know. I think he was about to tell me. Is there something I can help you with, sir? Two of you sisters? Yeah. So, did you really hire someone to kill me? Look, keep opening the door like that to strangers, and maybe I will. Hey. Slow down, buddy. Hey. Fuck off, buddy. Who just left? Was he here to see you? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. Thanks. Don't mention it. Hey, you honey. Hey. Uh, who's the guy that just left? What guy? Oh, come on, don't play dumb, Susan. I mean, I almost ran the bastard over in the driveway. Who's this guy? The phone guy? Look, he, he's just some lunatic that Rachel thinks trying to kill me. Can't you sleep with him? Do I look like I just had sex, Mark? No, but you will. Stop! I'm not in the mood! <sighs> Excuse me, but is there something we can do for you?
Okay, here it is. Today, when I was working on one of the wires, I accidentally patched into one of your conversations. Now, I can't tell from your voices which one it was, but whichever one it was, hired an assassin to kill the other. Are you saying that me or my sister hired someone to kill the other one? <laughs> Look, this, this is ridiculous. Look, I don't know what would motivate you to concoct such a story, Mr. Bruce, but I think I've heard quite enough. Please, you must believe me. The only thing I must do is ask you to leave. Look, I know I must look stupid and sound really crazy, but I used to be a cop, and I know what I heard. This is my phone number, and hopefully one of you will discover the truth before it's too late. I'm sorry if I, if I bothered you. I cannot believe you, Rachel. Letting a complete stranger into the house like this? What has gotten into you? I thought he was cute. Between a woman and a man, and a woman asked this guy to kill her sister for her. Is that all, sir? What do you mean, is that all? Sorry, but there's really nothing we can do. It was probably a prank of some sort. I wouldn't worry about it. Have a nice day. Have a nice day? Then you'll have to call me. Well, then I'll do it when I get home. All right. Honey, guess you just walked in here. Bruce. Well, I don't know, but as soon as I get off the phone, I'll find out. Yeah, okay, I'll tell you. Yeah, I love you too. Hey, Bruce, how's it going? Not so, uh, not so good. Aren't you still supposed to be at work? Yeah. I left a little early. Heard something over the wire that, uh, was kind of strange and... spooked me. Well, what'd you hear? Well, this lady hired this guy over the phone to kill somebody. You know, like you and I were ordering a pizza. Well, that doesn't surprise me. We hear that kind of stuff all the time. Roy, you don't even know the half of it. She told this guy that the person she wanted killed was her sister. Are you serious? What should I do? What do you mean, what should you do? Nothing. I just can't do nothing. Someone's gonna die unless I do something. Don't kid yourself, Bruce. You're not a cop anymore. There's nothing you can do. Just forget about it. It's probably just a joke anyway. I don't think so. <laughs> 